if you're taking certification tests on Teradata, you're going to be asked a lot of questions about this. So there's always some confusion, but you're going to nail every one of these. I'm going to review so you get a very clear picture of each one of these. And then I'm going to ask you a series of questions so there's no way you don't know this exactly. Let's take a look at this picture. We've got AMP1, AMP2, AMP3, AMP4. We've clustered AMPs 1 and 2 together. They're watching each other's back fall back wise. If AMP1 goes down, no problem. The system says, I can read AMP1's information on AMP2's fallback area. Never reads the fallback area unless someone falls back, okay? And of course, those two AMPs are in the same cluster. So you could be asked a question, will an AMP ever write its data to another AMP outside the cluster? Of course not! Only writes to each other's disk in the fallback area within the same cluster. So you can always lose one AMP per cluster and in the bottom you can see that we've got two more disks watching each other's back and that's the way it works. Two AMPs will be in a cluster. It's my lucky day. I hear we lost two AMPs, one in cluster one, one in cluster two. What's the problem? Fallback is associated with clusters. Mm. You've got buddies, they've got your back. In this picture, how many clusters do you see? I've got 32 amps in this picture, so I've got 16 clusters. The red amps are a cluster, the blue amps are a cluster, the black and the green amps are clustered, and that's the way it's going to work. Fallback has clusters, nodes are in cliques. How many cliques do you see here? There are four cliques here. Node 1 and Node 2 are in the same clique. Nodes 3 and 4 are in the same clique. 5 and 6 in the same clique. And Nodes 7 and 8 are in the same clique. Take a look at this picture and tell me what we've lost. I've got a multiple choice question here for you. I'll read it to you. You think about it. Get your answer ready. Answer A, we have lost node 1. Answer B, we have lost query capabilities on full table scans for fallback protected tables. Answer C, we have lost one AMP in cluster 1. And D, we have lost all AMPs in clique 1. The answer is C. We have lost one amp in cluster one. You're doing well. What have we lost in this picture? Is it A, we have lost node one. B, we have lost query capabilities on full table scans for fallback protected tables. C, we have lost one amp in cluster one and one amp in cluster two. Or D, we have lost all amps in clique one. The answer is C again. We've lost one amp in cluster one. We've lost one amp in cluster two. No problem. You can always lose one amp in any cluster. Changing gears on you. Take a look at this picture, and I'm going to ask which answer is false. What have we lost? Which answer is false? Is the false answer A, 
we have lost all amps in node 1. B, we have lost query capabilities on full table scans for fallback protected tables. C, we have lost only one amp in each of the following clusters, cluster 1, cluster 2, cluster 3, and cluster 4. Or D, fallback protected tables can still be queried with a full table scan. Which one of those answers is false? B was the false answer. We have lost query capabilities on full table scans on fallback protected tables. No, we haven't. We've lost one amp in cluster 1, one amp in cluster 2, one amp in cluster 3, one amp in cluster 4. Go ahead and query it. We can satisfy that query because the data is there if that table is fallback protected. What have we lost? In this example here, I want you to pick two answers that are true. Which two answers are true? A. We have lost clique 1. B. We have lost query capabilities on full table scans for fallback protected tables. C. We have lost only one amp in each of the following clusters. Cluster 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. D. The Teradata system can't handle any queries until clique 1 is fixed. A and C are true answers. We have lost clique 1, but in reality, we've only lost one amp in cluster 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can still query this system if the table is fall back protected because even though we've had an entire clique wiped out, we've only lost one amp in each cluster. Summary of the facts for fallback, clusters, and cliques. Amps are grouped into fallback clusters consisting of two amps. Tables with fallback make a copy of each row and keep it on their buddy AMP within the same cluster. Teradata can query fallback tables if only one AMP is down per cluster. AMPs in a cluster are never from the same node or the same clique. A Teradata system should be able to lose a node and even an entire clique and they still have only lost one amp per cluster. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you have two different systems that hold your data? Our query tool, the Nexus, now lets you move data freely between them. Great for data movement and for joins, the Nexus is ready to help you cross boundaries. Visit coughingdw.com for more details.